Rio Classy has been awkward behind the gate, fractious, throwing his head, awkward with his gait. Now he settles down a bit. Here they come. M.A. Speedy is off stride. Never pass on a break. April 7th on a break. The rest are off and trotting. There goes Swiss Locks out for the lead. Jute on the far outside. New jackpot between horses. Party House is there down toward the rail. April 7th is still off stride as they go into the first turn and now gets toward the perimeter of the track clear of trouble. Swiss Locks leads it by a length and a half and there goes New Jackpot moving up on the outside. Jute is also moving past trotters as they go to the quarter mile mark. New Jackpot gets the lead by three parts of a length. Swiss Locks is racing second on the inside. Party House then Jute who goes to third followed by by TK Small Source, 30 and 4 fifths, the time for the opening quarter. Further back, Real Classy is racing in sixth. He is seven lengths off the lead, followed by Heather McToke, who takes to the outside from seventh. Then Never Pass in eighth. M.A. Speedy is ninth. April 7th is tenth. They're approaching the half. Jute has taken over the lead by two lengths now. New Jackpot is second. Swiss Locks third. Gap of three to TK Small Source, then Real Classy. Heather McToke, Never Pass, M.A. Speedy, and April 7th and a long way back to Party House, who has made a break on the back stretch and has lost contact with the field. So Party House has a lot of work to do off a half in 102. Jute leads them on the far turn by a length. Swiss Locks is challenging New Jackpot for second. Heather McToke just made a break near the back of the pack. Here is Swiss Locks moving up around New Jackpot, followed by TK Small Source, who's fourth on the outside of Real Classy, then never pass as they go toward the three-quarter. April 7th is next on the outside, eight lengths off the lead. Jute has the lead by three parts of a length. Swiss Locks is second, three quarters, 133 and two. New Jackpot is third. TK Small Source is fourth on the outside. And then Real Classy, who's fifth, still four lengths off the lead, moving into deep stretch now. And the battle for the lead is between Jute toward the inside. TK Small Source toward the far outside is trying to close ground. And Swiss Locks between them. New Jackpot and Real Classy need room. Swiss Locks to the lead. TK Small Source, then Real Classy. Swiss Locks leads it. Swiss Locks takes it. Swiss Locks by a length and a half over TK Small Source in second. Real Classy was third in 203 and two fifths. Gelding wins for the fifth time this year. His dam is Orchid Lomont by a Super Bowl. So, this Gelding's granddaddy won the Hamiltonian Trotting Classic right here on this racetrack. Let's grab J.D. Finn real quickly. J.D., one question for you. It was cut quite a stretch drive. You ever have any doubt this trotter was going to make it there? Uh, he, he's been coming along real good here lately, and I've really had confidence in him. How big a role has your buddy Dennis Gardner played in the development of this horse? That 5-6 exact to $207.60. It's a pretty stout uh, place and show payoffs as well. Rundown is next. Here's the entire official order of finish from that eighth race. From the top, April 7th finished nine. Party House was seven. Never passed six. M.A. Speedy was eight. Swiss Locks, the winner. T.K. Small Source, two.